story about one of my Cambodian patients called Nu, and because it's very Asian, and she had terrible abdominal pains that no one could diagnose, lots of scans, you know, lots of doctors seen, all the tests. And she told me her story, and um, of course I said, well, when did it start? Oh, I've had it all my life. So that's a common one that we hear. I've had it all my life. Well, really, have you? When did you first notice it? You know, when, well, when do you first remember it? And um, there was something about, I'll just tell you exactly what happened. It's like, um, if you're musical, it's like a note out of place. A note out of place in the way people talk, right? There's a frequency disruption. And you can just tell that something they say isn't quite right. I've had it all my life, and I just knew it wasn't quite right. And then there was something about my interaction with her. She then told me the story, which she had never told anyone. A psychologist, a psychiatrist didn't get this out of her for some reason. That she was brought up in Cambodia, the horrible Khmer Rouge regime, pot pole, killed, wanted to kill all the intelligentsia, basically. And so the soldiers, I mean, you know, the killing fields of Cambodia were, were pretty horrible. This is about 50 years ago. So the soldiers um, marched her out. Sorry, is that right? No, 30 years ago. Soldier mar marched her out of her house in the middle of the night. Her father was a doctor. She was seven years old. So they got marched out of the house in the middle of the night. Soldiers were laughing. They said, go to the next village, just get out. Um, and they were rounded up in the... And they said, if you go to the right, there's more soldiers in that path who will shoot you. If you go to the left, uh, there's landmines. You'll probably get blown up. And they thought it was hilarious. And they, there was a group of about 20 people. And they were marching day and night. They chose to go the landmine way. It sounded safer. And, um, you know, as a seven-year-old, of course, it was a horrible experience well, for anyone. And people did get blown up. And it was, it was horrific. And they just kept marching to this next village. And she said at the time, the world of the dead was more real to her than the world of the living. It was real and vibrant. And um, she told me the story. At that time, she was lying on my couch and I had my hands in her abdomen to examine it because the problem was abdominal pain. And of course, this is classical catharsis because when you tell something like that, it kind of gets that emotional trauma out of your system. Um, because after that, her, she never had abdominal pain. She was 44 years old, and this had happened as a seven-year-old child. She'd never had abdominal pain after that. So that, that is classical catharsis, um, we know. But the thing is, what, what, what made her tell me? What made her tell me? A casual question, uh, an obvious question, right? That she had been asked before, you can be quite sure, by these other doctors. Because I believe there was an energy interaction between us that allowed that to happen and something in me catalyzed something in her. So for years I had always felt this sort of out of place feeling because I could never relate to anyone on, on energy and how to explain that to someone coming to the workshop today to have someone who has the medical background to explain that you can use this light for healing really how you had said resonated within me and I made the connections of how when you have these rings it's not just you're, you're looking at something it it's overlapping and you have these connections and it was really moving I, I completely felt the energy and it really lifted this feeling of not being able to connect and I had the ability to do so through this workshop today. So thank you for that.